Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to another Kingdom Maker video with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages and everyone in between, today we're going to be talking about silver. <sighs> silver, silver, silver. Silver is the main bottleneck in the game, as far as I can damn tell. It's very frustrating. Okay, so silver is effectively the currency that you need in order to do pretty much anything within the game. Now, silver is needed to uh, train troops. If we pop in here and we have a look, I'm just going to show you all the things that silver takes to drive home the point, how important it is. Uh, pop in here, mounted. This requires silver. Uh, if we want to upgrade a building, uh, this guy here, uh, upgrade this requires silver if we want to uh, do some research I can't show you that one because we're doing it but that requires silver if I want to craft an item oh this one I didn't check does it take silver does it take silver this is the new thing does it does it does it break does it bend uh, it does take silver okay fantastic that does take silver if we want to upgrade any of that equipment that we've just built that takes silver if we want to uh, upgrade the talent of a noble um, so say we go here and we go like a here that takes silver if we want to unlock the next tier of talents of a noble that takes silver um, if we want to send tribute to any other player that takes a small amount of silver um, if we want to do what ah, train build research send tribute upgrade anything and unlock anything that all requires silver it is incredibly annoying <laughs> to me at the moment how much silver I need on a daily basis just to get anything done. I have been stuck on level 15 here for a little while um, simply because I've been forgetting that I need silver and constantly using my silver to say upgrade uh, the talent of a noble uh, but then I don't have enough silver to say upgrade this uh, uh, watchtower which I need to do in order to achieve uh, the next level of keep so where do we get silver from silver is abundant in small amounts okay so it is easy to get silver however you get very small amounts of silver meaning that you have to do constantly everything on a daily basis in order to receive enough silver the main way that silver is um, grown or you get income of silver is through the population of your city now you can see here these little houses occasionally will have these little silver icons floating above them that means they are producing silver if we pop in here and we look at our population uh, down here these guys here the max amount of population will increase the maximum amount of silver so increase Increasing your population will increase your silver production. You can see here we're currently at 209 an hour, um, and I only have 144 uh, left. If my population was higher, my production would be higher as well. So increasing your population is the main way you're going to be able to increase your silver intake. Um, other than that, what we need to do is to constantly be doing some of the tasks of the game. Uh, we can see here that made silver. Let's see. Collect. Oh, there we got 30 silver. Collect. Oh, another 30 silver. Collect. Ooh, 27 silver. Collect. 30 silver. Ooh, collect. 30 silver. Ooh, collect. 27 silver. Fantastic. All right. Um, but the other ways to do it are obviously to do things in the game, uh, and those things are few and varied. Um, by attacking another player, let's just click on this guy here. We can see that we have a potential to earn 1.5 thousand. 1.5. Why do I keep saying that? 1. 1,500 silver, which is a uh, potential loot. We don't necessarily mean we will take all of that that is the potential but you know usually uh, you are going to get very close to that uh, we can also get silver from doing the quests and the daily goals so this little icon down here in the bottom obviously takes the you to the quest and the daily goals through uh, screens i'm losing my words people i'm losing my words um and we can see down here, say, uh, doing this uh, task here, blast from the craft, upgrading the blacksmith to level 13 will only earn us 18 silver. Doing this one down here, training battering rams, will earn us 700 silver. This, unfortunately, will cost us probably at least that a minimum in order to do it, it because we will have to do some research and we will have to actually train the battering ram, which is going to cost us silver in the meantime. So not necessarily a, a better boon there. Our daily goals every day also give you the opportunity to earn silver. Uh, if we scroll down here, we can see if we do the Silk Road, Silk Road daily goal, uh, that will earn us 470. And I believe also we should be getting some silver out of these chests as well. Uh, well, not all of them. What does this one take? 
So the fourth one gives you it. The f only the fourth one. I'm going to have to check that tomorrow, actually, and see if they stay the same every day. That's interesting to know. That's a bit of science we will have to do. Um, so you can get it from the daily goals and the quest. You can also get silver from the events, basically, by completing various tasks within the game on the set days that the events are active you will be able to earn silver. As you can see here, we get a little bit of silver there. Blah, 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 blah. A little bit of silver everywhere. Uh, there's a little bit of silver there. Fantastic. But obviously, you can see I've done most of those already, so I'm not really achieving any silver today. Um, I guess you can then... Oh, not I guess, but you can also get silver from Tribute. Uh, however, I do not see many opportunities where another player is going to send you silver um, simply because it is so needed. It is the main currency to do nearly everything in the game, as we've just discussed. So I don't see why another player would be sending you silver, unless they were a very nice person and you're a very, very good friend. Um, I don't see why they would send you silver. Or I guess if you absolutely destroyed them and asked for tribute, but that would be kind of pretty intense. Uh, I don't know why they would agree to give you silver unless you were really being a bully and beating the crap out of them on a daily basis, which is not necessarily a good way to play any game. Um, the only other way I could think of is obviously getting tribute from a another account that you own, so farming your account, uh, having two accounts and farming one of those accounts for silver. That, that, that account would produce silver and send it to you as tribute on a daily basis. There is, uh, I have an intention to make a video about that. Um, at some point in the future about creating a farm account and whether it's worth it or not. In my head, I currently see it as an enormous amount of work for a small amount of benefit. So I do know that some people, I think I've seen a couple of farm accounts around, but I do think that it's possibly not worth it at all. But we will discuss that in a future video. So that's silver. I, I cannot recommend strongly enough that you hoard your silver that you generate as much silver by increasing your population as fast as you possibly can, and that you loot as much silver as you possibly can. On a daily basis, I will be attacking a minimum amount of silver. I'm obviously completing all of the daily tasks and doing the events as much as possible as well. And that's how I seem to maintain at least a passable amount of silver on a daily basis. Obviously, <coughs> I could be attacking more players. However, um, I don't, I'm not strong enough yet. And also, there's politics to attacking other players, which we will go into maybe in another video about the politics of playing with people, <laughs> with real life people who are at the other end of a phone or computer playing as well, and how those politics can um, end up either destroying your game uh, because it's no longer fun to play uh, or result in bullying or uh, griefing, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there is a good way to play these games. There is a way to achieve um, uh, happiness in playing these games. Uh, but it's a difficult thing to do and you've got to hope that the, 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 the dice have rolled and you've been put with a group of people who are... Uh, happy to play that way, so to speak, in order that everybody grow. Anyway, I'm waffling and going off topic. Um, I hope that helped you if you're having troubles with your silver, how to get them and all that kind of stuff. As I've said before, this series of videos is about explaining some of the basics of the game and as we go through and as we play and grow as a player in this game, we will start getting a bit more technical and a little bit more advanced um, kind of knowledge coming out of my head hopefully. <laughs> I don't know if any knowledge goes into the head to begin with, but we'll see if some advanced stuff comes out somewhere in the future. That's what we're hoping anyway. That's what, what the plan is. <laughs> right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And I always forget to say that. I should say that more at the start, shouldn't I? Because people never watch at the end of these videos anyway. You know, you, in any YouTube, you, you see the algorithms. And I talk with a lot of YouTubers. The graph is, is always like that. People, oh, we've been watching for the first two minutes and then they stop watching. Um, so you should always say in the first two minutes, make sure you subscribe and like, please, and, and click the notification bell. Uh, but I always forget to say it. And then occasionally I say it at the end, which is useless. Right. Okay. Back to it. See ya.